There are all kinds of vertical farming towers you can buy or build to use in your greenhouse, on your balcony, or in your backyard. Why? Because vertical farming lets you grow more plants in less space. Vertical farming doesn't just double, it multiplies the amount of plants you can grow per square foot. You need to get in on this. Imagine a 100 square foot balcony or small greenhouse, but having seven times the growing space, turning 100 square feet into well over 700 square feet. That's what vertical farming can do. It lets you multiply your profits and minimize your expenses. In this video, I'm gonna go over seven types of vertical farming towers you can buy or DIY build. Simple Tech, that's the name of this channel. And we have piles of other free videos on growing and greenhouse technology you can check out after watching this video just by hitting that free subscribe button. There's all kinds of vertical farming doohickeys out there, and I'm gonna review the most popular ones used today by private and professional farmers and gardeners. These doohickeys, yeah, I like that word, grow with soil, aquaponic, or aeroponic setups. You can buy existing pre-built, easy to set up towers, or save money and DIY a vertical farming tower from scratch with some simple materials anyone can access at their local hardware store. Pretty cheap. The simplest and oldest form of vertical farming is using a trellis, fence, cage, or stake. Plants growing in the ground simply grow upwards because you tie them to the stake or a fence. By training your plants upwards, you gain much more space on the ground. This allows you to have more plants in less square footage and allows the plants to space themselves out better, away from the ground, getting more sunlight and air on their leaves and fruit. It also makes harvesting easier, as anything that allows for less bending is a good thing. Using a trellis or cage works best with vine type plants like tomatoes, cucumbers or grapes, but it does not work well with smaller plants like lettuce, carrots, onions or spinach. Most everyone can figure out where to buy a stake or a pole to start using this ancient form of vertical gardening, but I also included a link below to some you can actually buy online. Stackable pots is a cool concept that lets you stagger growing pots on top of each other so you can grow crops like lettuce, strawberries, carrots, onions, and spinach in soil vertically. These pots are often positioned around a center watering hole so you can water one place on the top and get moisture to flow down to all the growing pots. What's nice is this type of vertical growing doohickey, there's that word again, allows for each plant to have its own soil to grow in. Hard to make on your own, these are usually sold in precast plastic or resin type materials at affordable prices. You can buy them at your local garden center or online from places like eBay, Amazon, or Alibaba. There's a vertical growing doohickey being made now called the Garden Tower. You have two main versions to pick from. A commercially made one that looks amazing or a do-it-yourself version made from a 55 gallon drum. Both work. It's not just the vertical growing aspect of this concept that's awesome, or the fact that it uses real soil to grow your plants in. The garden tower goes one step further and actually creates its own organic fertilizer for your plants. You heard me. This growing doohickey makes its own fertilizer. The center pipe is designed to compost kitchen waste with worms. It's a brilliant design for anyone growing organic with limited space like a greenhouse or a balcony. You have to build the 55 gallon yourself, but you can buy the commercial version of the garden tower online. Yeah, I have a link in the description below. Check it out. Imagine actually growing your plants upside down. That's exactly what this next doohickey does. Commercially marketed as the topsy-turvy tomato planter, there are many other versions of this doohickey available, 
with the main feature being your tomatoes grow from the bottom of this hanging planter. Because gravity forces the tomatoes to grow straight down, this qualifies as a vertical growing device. Sometimes simplicity is best, and nothing could be easier than poking a hole in the bottom of your hanging planter and letting your plants grow down. The only issue is watering, as you have to lift the water to the top of this doohickey, and tomatoes need a lot of water. But if you can plumb in a watering system, this might just be the best way to grow your tomatoes. Check out the links below to buy one for yourself. Growing with only water and nutrients and no soil is what hydroponics is all about. But stack those plants up vertically and now you're growing dozens more plants per square foot versus conventional gardening. Hydroponic towers come in a variety of shapes and sizes, but if you want to get serious about hydroponic growing, then hydroponic towers are the way to go. One of the most common self-contained hydroponic towers is the tower garden not to be confused with the garden tower. Tower gardens sit on a water reservoir and pump that water to the top of the tower to trickle down over the plant roots. What's nice is the reservoir can last weeks, meaning you don't have to water your plants every day. Set it and forget it. There are other cool hydroponic systems you can buy too, like the zip grow towers, as well as a variety of other designs, some of which I link below. Aeroponics, or hydroponics via a spray mist, is a fine line distinction from aquaponics. Mostly, when one says aeroponics, it refers to watering the plants with a mist versus submerged in a water bath or drip watering like aquaponics. The question is, at what point does a drip spray become a mist? Roots do well when they can get air and water. It's a fine line and one of definition more than one of function. If water is dripped over plants, is it aqua or aero? What size water droplet changes the system from aquaponics to aeroponics? I don't think the plants really care. So as long as they get their water and nutrients, they're happy. Regardless, vertical aeroponics works. And there are a number of functional vertical aeroponic towers out there you can buy or build. Most people think one level long tubes when thinking hydroponics, but those tubes can be stacked on top of each other vertically to increase growing production in less square footage. There are small systems like this and large commercial farms. The common factor is that they have multiple vertical levels of pipes multiplying their production. The majority of these systems use a water bath type nutrient delivery system, but that doesn't mean aquaponic or aeroponic delivery systems aren't possible. This is the type of system you can build yourself or buy as a package on eBay, Amazon, or Alibaba and just have it shipped to you. Imagine a small area of your balcony or greenhouse producing more food than you ever thought possible just by mixing up some nutrients into a water reservoir. And the best part is, you don't have to water your plants every day. The term window farms is used to refer to a movement for personal urban gardening that started in New York City. Imagine growing food in a small apartment with no balcony. Window farms involves a system of tubes and pumps, a timer and containers for growing plants in your apartment window. Obviously, they are stacked vertically. Window Farms maximizes the available light in a small apartment for growing plants hydroponically. It's an open source movement and as such, most participants recycle common household garbage into plant containers. Window Farms has brought green plants into otherwise barren places, brightening up the homes of thousands of people, using vertical farming and hydroponics to change lives in the world today. I included a link below to their website. If you live in an apartment without a balcony, this is something you need to look into if you want to grow food where you live. At Simple Tech, we believe in growing your own food, mostly for flavor. If people are going to eat better, it has to taste good. 
We have piles of other free videos on growing and greenhouse technology on our channel you can check out and learn how to eat better.